Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's week two of Locktober and here I am with my what's in my bag for you guys. This is my Glamaholic Lifestyle hot pink mirror tote and I'm enjoying it. It's just so so much fun for me. I have it packed. Look, look, I have it packed. I did use my coach organizer in it and it went so well inside of it. Kept things from some things that aren't you know, in a pouch or anything from ro rolling around or roaming around in there. I enjoyed this bag. I uh, have it packed. Uh, I also have my chain on it. That's one of my chains I got from Amazon. It has the pearl and the, the uh, silver chain as well as the Bath and Body Work Works gummy uh, holder. So anyway, here's my what's in my bag. Now, let's see where I'm going to start. Hmm. What shall I get out of the magic bag first? Well, it looks like it may be my, uh-oh, technical difficulties, y'all. Y'all know it's something always happen. But I had to get it straight. So forgive me for the movement. So anyway, um, on a, well, I pulled out my pencil case first. Same pouch I had from last week is one of those Isaac Mizrahi pouches. I just have pens. Uh, some chargers, my fan, my clipper, things like that in there. Now in that pouch is my water packet pouch. That's one of my juicy pouches. I have three that were on there and that's the smallest one. I have my stir, my scissors to cut my packets open with, and I have several different packets in there, but I use all of that. It just depends on what flavor water I feel like tasting. And I like the coconut pineapple stir. It gives me kind of a tropical vibe to any one that I use. So that's what makes it happy for me. Now, this is my same wallet I used last week. I think I'm going to move this one into my next bag. I'm not sure yet. It just depends on, I'm still thinking about which one I'm going to use. But same wallet, same contents, everything. I do have that Bath & Body Works, uh, I'm sorry, Dollar Tree mirror. Now, that's my makeup pouch in there. Um, I have a lot of stuff in there. My lip liners, lippies, files. I have a spray, uh, mist and spray, not the Dollar Tree mirror, not mirror, it's a light in there that's clipped on there. Now this pouch right here is my medical and kind of overflow pouch. I have some Advil, Band-Aids, a few, a few Band-Aids that couldn't fit, some Neosporin, um, some medical scissors, gauze, plastic cap, stuff like that, Q-tips, extra, that's in there. Yeah, and a needle and thread because you never know when you might pop a button or something need to be stitched up right quick or, or quick or you need a safety pin. I always like to be prepared. Also in there, now that's my lips pouch. I picked that up off of, I think, walmart.com. Um, that has my, my Lysol spray. I have some hand sanitizer in there. That's a bathroom pouch. I have dental picks. I also have some more band-aids in there. I think I didn't pull those out. I have some toilet seat covers. I have some lady wipes. I also mm -hmm. have a hand wipe. I have some soap in there and all that. I have all that good stuff in there. You know, stuff you need in the bathroom um, and that you don't want to be without in the restroom when you go. So, you know, lady pouch and you know, incidentals, because you do check your teeth while you're in there and everything, you know, look in the mirror. So I can understand that. So let's go and see what else is in there. So next, uh, those trusty sunnies, but I didn't need those today when I went out simply because uh, it was raining in the area. The sun was out for a few minutes, but it rained for the most part all day out here. And those are my glasses. You know, your girl got in before dark, so I didn't need those today, but I still had them just in case. So then I pulled the pouch out because what was left in there is what I was putting everything back in there, but I just, how easy I was able to take it out. Now in the back behind that pouch, I have that, which is my, that juicy pouch, which is my receipt holder. I just stick receipts in there. And then at the end of the week, when I do all my stuff, I put them where they need to go. So let's go to the back zip pocket. Now in there, I have Kleenex, my Bucky's mints, cause you know I gotta do with them, have those. They've gone up, but I'm, 
and my cream because I don't want to be without that in case my skin go to itching. Now I'm going to flip it around to the other side. Uh-oh, technical difficulties again. Don't want to knock it down. Now those two slip pockets, which are generous size, by the way, because I can slide my phone into the one where I have the brush. Now in that bigger pocket, I have my earbuds. I have the uh, lip, I have two lip glosses. I have some Listerine strips and I have some more lip gloss. That's the second one. Miscellaneous candies and ginger chews. Yeah, I have that in there. And on that side, I just have the brush because on normally on the side where the brush is, I slide my phone back there because it's really thin and it can fit. But because I was recording on it, that's why I didn't have anything back there. So now I'm going to slide this organizer back in there and I'm going to reorganize this stuff so I can continue the rest of this week because I'm loving it. You know, um, this bag is roomy and spacious. Now, if I wasn't using it with an, organi with an organizer and I was going into work, I can use it without an organizer. I can use it with the organizer and still be able to put my laptop in it. So if I was going into the office, I would be able to put my laptop into the back of it with no problem along with the cords because the organizer is not flush to the bag. You still have some room in it. So that's a good thing. Also, what I like about the bag, even though I have it packed the way I do, it's not heavy. I had an additional journal in it earlier this week and my um, tripod and it didn't weigh it down either. So I was able to do that today. I had a couple of bottles of water in it that I carried in the house along with what I carry in it. It didn't weigh it down and have me to where I felt like my shoulder was going to fall off. But that's everything neatly placed back up into it. I'm enjoying, you know, this uh, pink for breast cancer awareness because it really, really um, makes me um, go into, you know, look into a, additional things with breast cancer research, uh, how, how far they've come with the changes and how everything has been modernized with it. Because I just recall, I recall when a friend of mine's mom was going through her, her um, bout with cancer, with breast cancer, how tough it was for them at that time. But I'm just glad that the research is progressing so we can get a, a bigger wrap on this and hopefully we all can progress and more people will be able to still be with us as a result but i want to thank you again for watching my video and i hope you have yourself an enjoyable rest of your week bye bye